Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the Shayla Bay Show. Today I'm gonna be talking to you guys a lesson about a lesson that I learned through a very valuable life lesson story. <laughs> Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the Shay LaVey Show. Today we're going to be talking about a very important lesson that I learned. But before I could tell you about the lesson, I have to tell you guys what position I put myself in to learn about this damn lesson in the first place. So basically what happened was I got this job that I really, really wanted to. And I think some of you guys might know about this store, this retail store, downtown Boston. It goes by the name of Primark. Yeah, I got hired at Primark, so excited to work there. Like, I'm excited to be a participant, I'm excited to work, I'm excited to full clothes and cash flow out, all that stuff. So, Primark has about, I don't even know how many workers, employees they have. They have like about 200 employees in the store. It's big, there's a lot of people. The employees plus the customers, it was too much. So, every day when we'd finish our shift, we'd have to clock out. And um, when we clock out, there would be a long line waiting to clock out. They, we only had like four machines to clock out, which made no sense for 200 um, um, people working there. It was dumb. So I'm like, I always waited like till the last moment to clock out, so everybody had left, so I, don't, I didn't have to wait in line. So I'm clocking out, I'm about to clock out. I'm walking through the kitchen where people would have their breaks during um, break time. Somebody's washing the dishes, this girl's washing the dishes. Before I, I get into that, I just wanna let you know that Primark hired every ratchet thing in America. Primark was very, it is, might still be, I don't know, but it was just so very ghetto, very ghetto. There would be locker fights in the locker rooms, people would be stealing people's phones, backpacks, like why do you wanna steal my backpack? All I have in there is homework, I don't know. But backpacks would go missing, cell phones would go missing, shoes sneakers all of that i even got my like charger stolen like they tried they ripped it out of my locker i don't know why they did that they they ended up with no charger i ended up with no charger nobody primark being so ghetto everybody's trying to leave everybody's like ah, oh my god move move i need to clock out move 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 i'm like okay i'm just gonna wait on the side i'm on my phone reading i'm reading a message and i got a message from my mother and then I was like, oh, mom, you're so cute. Like, she's so cute. I love my mom so much. And this girl, who's like, I don't even know. I didn't even, I didn't see her. I didn't see her. I'm walking out. I clock out. As I'm walking out, this girl stops me like, excuse me? I'm like, who is she talking to? I, I'm still on my phone. Like, okay, whatever. She's like, no, you. You, yeah, you on phone. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, yes. She's like, so you're calling your mother? Because I want to wash the dishes for the people here. You're calling a mother? I'm cleaning up after you guys' is mess. I'm like, what are you talking about, mother? I wasn't, what? And then after I put two and two together, I'm like, oh, I was like, no, you misunderstood everything. She started yelling in my face. And you know, me being me, I wasn't about to look stupid in front of people. Um, you know, there's a couple people watching, some of the advisors, some of the supervisors and managers are watching. I'm just like, you know what? This job's already not serious, so I don't even care if I get fired. I'm gonna her like, girl, stop talking to me like that. She's like, what'd you say? I was like, stop talking to me like that. I'm not playing with you. I don't know you from a hole in the wall. Don't talk to me like that. Thank you. And I turn around, I'm, I'm, I'm walking away. She's like, I'm not done talking to you. I was like, no, you're done. You're, you're done. I'm done listening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. I gotta catch a bus. And she's like, what? She takes off her, she drops her bag on the floor. And I'm like, what are you? I'm looking at people like, is she serious? Like, this can't be serious. But you know, Boston being Boston, like Primark, let me not say Boston, Primark being Primark, people are just, nobody's trying to break anything. Everybody's looking like this, like, what's she about to do? What are you about to do? Like, I'm like, is nobody gonna step in? I'm like, ah, oh, damn. Gotta put on a show. I'm not about to get punked in front of everybody. So I put down my bag. I'm mimicking what she did. You put your bag down. I'll put my bag down. I don't know what's next, but you know I'm just following your lead. So she puts her bag down and she's like, "You come back right now. I'm not done talking to you." I was like, "No, you're done. You're done." But since I see you putting down your bag, I'm gonna put my bag down too. She's like, "Oh, oh, so you think you're cute?" She starts, mind you guys. I'm five five. This girl I think was like six foot nine. She's like. Hey. You think you're gonna come after me? I'm like, oh my god. But I just go charging in front of her because she's walking towards me. I'm like, don't talk to me like that. And then somebody, thankfully, somebody, my friend, came and like pulled me. She's like, yeah, she's not even worth it. You know that she's not even worth it type of speech. Like, she's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Like, let's go, let's go. Somebody else is holding like um, Chewbacca back from trying to eat me. 
and I'm like, oh my gosh, I was shaking. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have it. I don't know if I was shaking because I was amped or I was shaking because I was scared, but it was probably a combination of those two. And then I'm outside. I'm like, I can't believe this happened. Like, I can't, like, it was all a big misunderstanding, but somebody's trying to fight me over a misunderstanding. So me and my sister and my best friend wait outside. We're like, let's go, let's go. I was like, no, I have to wait for her. And my sister was like, are you crazy? You're gonna wait for a girl who tried to beat you up. I mean, in my head, it was, it just, it was what made sense. I have to wait for her so I could tell her, like, she's stupid for trying to fight me because it was a big misunderstanding. So we waited outside for a good five minutes. I'm like, Thinking like if this girl sees me, she, she might think I'm actually waiting for her to finish the fight, but I'm actually waiting for her so I could show her that nobody was trying to fight you. You're an idiot. Try again. She comes outside and she sees me and I'm like, Lord, <laughs> I should have left when I had the chance. She comes to me and she's like, you know what? I heard a couple of people explaining to me the situation. More like, this is how she went. I heard a couple of people explaining to me the situation and I just wanted to apologize because I didn't know you were reading the text message. And I was like, well, that's what I was trying to explain since, you know, the minute you approached me, but you didn't give me the chance. And she's like, yeah, you know, I just want to come here and make money. And I was like, exactly, like, let's just come here and make money and work, you know? And she's like, all right, let's just hug it out. Like, I'm like, oh my God. In shock because this just happened and she apologized and she wants a hug. And I'm like, okay, let's hug it out. And then she was like, all right, I'll see you tomorrow at work. And I was like, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow at work. She's like, okay, bye, take care, be safe, girl. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try. Even though you were the one putting me in the unsafe situation. But with that being, that was my first, I guess you could say first fight that I've almost ever been in. And it was at a job setting. So the lesson learned here. Guys, what lesson learned? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Don't read your text messages out loud. The lesson that was learned in this story is don't read your text messages out loud. You don't know who's listening. You don't know who's watching. You don't know who's going to come at you trying to fight you. So please, keep your messages to yourself. Oh, and don't apply to Primark. Right? Don't say that to other people. Freedom of speech, man. Oh, and a lesson for others is don't be quick to assume. Cause they gonna make a out of you and me. If you know that saying. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this lesson learned. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Anyways, thank you guys. Bye. Make you a wind up on me, so yeah, we fall in love. Me me buy you a ticket to Barbados. Yeah, we fall in love. Show, 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 show